Hello everyone and welcome back then to Our Coffee. Uh, my guest is Federica Giuliano, a medical oncologist from France. Yes. But actually she's an Italian, as my, most of my guests. I don't know why it's like that. So coffee. <laughs> yes, it's coffee. Italians love coffee. So Federica, my first question is, what is your favorite type of coffee? And if you have any coffee rituals. Okay. Um, my favorite type of coffee is espresso, a short one. So uh, maybe a ristretto, we can call it, uh, um, a bird from Italy. Um, as coffee rituals, I love to take my coffee as the first thing in the morning. So I wake up and I turn my um, coffee machine on and then I make the coffee so the coffee melts in the air of the, ho uh, of the house. So are you using uh, an electronic uh, machine or a more cupboard? No, an electronic Yes. Okay, yeah, that's great. And how many cups of coffee are you drinking in a day? Because as a medical oncologist, you uh, are getting very tired and stressed during the day. Yes, but as a medical oncologist, we should say that uh, dr drinking too much coffee is not a good thing for the health. Uh, yeah. I think for ca cardiologists could say that. Yeah, well, yeah, but for the health in general. Yeah. Yes, so um, I think I take uh, one or two coffees in the day. The first, uh, the first in the morning, and then the other after lunch. That's not too much. I had a guest who said like she drinks seven to eight cups of espresso okay. uh, during the day. That's it's. Uh, I don't know. That's 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 a lot. Yeah, a bit. So uh, my next question is: uh, You had a personal presentation today uh, in the field of breast cancer. Yes. So could you please share about your research? Uh, so I work in uh, Institut Gustave Rossi in Vichyf, so um, in France. And um, I work in the group of uh, Fernanda Moselle, Fabrice André and Barbara Pistilli. And we are focusing on the resistance on uh, after progression to antibody drug conjugates. Um, we did a comprehensive uh, analysis of biomarker at progression on tissue and liquid biopsies, and we presented the results. So it's, um, they are uh, hypothesis generating results that may inform for future clinical trials. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to ask you uh, to send me the abstracts okay. when we are there. Uh, Federica, I also want to ask, uh, like nowadays, uh, do you see any problems that young oncologists are facing uh, during their career cough? Um, so this is a difficult question. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, the problem that we have nowadays is to face uh, the huge amount of data that we have. Uh, yes, as young oncologists, we have uh, more... Um, we have to be ready with... Um, computer skills and uh, with the bioinformatics skills in order to retrieve uh, and uh, understand the huge amount of data that we have that maybe in the uh, in the years um, some years ago they um, they were they were not possible because they were no such good uh, um, granularity in the understanding of uh, transnational data and so i think that the most uh, challenging thing right nowadays is to face this huge amount of information when you just start and so you do not know if you are not guided uh, you do not know how to um, navigate this all this oh I, I see but now we also have AI yes uh, yes and if we uh, try to use AI efficiently I, I think it, it could be really helpful for data analysis and uh, to work with that huge amount of data. Yes, but as a young oncologist, you should have also these other skills. So you, are, you should um, go and focus and develop the skill of bioinfo, of, uh, data analysis, of, uh, artificial intelligence in order to use it properly. Yeah. Because otherwise it's... Uh, it's difficult. It's difficult, yes. Federica, uh, and my last question uh, would be... Any advice for medical students and the young coaches who also happens to be our listeners? So um, I think that the most important thing is to try, because if you if you try, you can you can start the process. 
and uh, it's true that the the failure and the is part of the learning experience and it's part of the learning journey but if you don't try if you don't make the first pace the first effort to try to um do that uh, request to your boss, do, do that uh, trial, uh, to try to design that uh, um, trial that you have in mind, uh, to try to answer, answer that question that you want. If you don't try, you don't yeah. even... Uh, you, you don't even get the chance yes. either to respond or either to fail. So I would say try. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, trying is the key science. If you don't try and if you don't fail, yeah. you will never grow and you will never go forward. So trying is the best thing yeah. a man can do. Yeah. So, Federica, thank you so much for accepting my invitation and being my guest on Own Coffee. It was my pleasure and I wish you good luck uh, with your research projects in your life. And thank you for watching us and don't forget to keep the coffee brewing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Anka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.